Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. I'm your host, Colors Fade. This is episode 51, The Arena Part 2. We won blindfolded and now we're going to fight Murga. And this dude here, Aaron, the raucous one. Nice show out there. You're smoldering ya. He had a lot of great gear. So I just spent some money and upgraded everybody. Los got a new shield, Fane got a new dagger, uh, there were a couple of rings, and Los also got a new robe that increased her summoning. So there was some nice gear and I just spent some money on that. Alright, agree, inform him that Murga has agreed to fight. Oh, this will be a scorcher. Who are you taking along? You only get this one chance, so keep your wits about you. Alright, tell him your immediate companions will join you. Murga against all of us. It's really just nailed Red Prince. Wow. You're not Sca trying to escape. Are oh jeez. You? You're not trying to escape, are you? Oh, pretty good. She's gonna do what? Sawtooth knife on the Red Prince, man. Is she gonna kill him? And, what? and then she's gonna haste herself. Holy cow, woman. All right, let's see what we can do with a point of damage. I'm gonna... My main goal here is I wanna knock her over. Okay, now she's knocked down. That gives me this person. So she's gonna start restoring health to our buddy. Red Prince. Red, get some physical armor back. I'm ready. And then, uh, hmm. I'm not gonna do much except maybe just conjure my incarnate here. He is a bad, bad man. Oh yeah. Red. What do I want you to do? I want you to get some elevation because you need to be... Yeah, this thing's going to be a problem. Um, well. Actually, I'm just going to pass on his turn for now. Kill her. And here comes the deep cave dweller. The captive deep dweller. Anyways, void woken. Say, looky, look, looky. A champion. Good for my belly. Good for my happiness. Alright, advance upon the void woken. Weapon at the ready. I'm not afraid of you. You punk. Oh, you're gonna shackle red. Really? Okay. Um, there's a way to get shackles of pain off. And it is with a spell. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna root him right there. He can't do anything else. And then uh, I'm going to set... This doesn't remove it, but it, it sets... Uh, gives wit 7. I'm going to give that to uh, Fane. Alright. Can't get over here, can you? You can curse me, that's fine. Void shard. He's trying to hurt him. Fane, my friend. I want Fane to pass, and I want him to pass, and I want her to do her thing here. This is cryogenic stasis, removes shackles of pain. Go red. Yay. All right, shackles removed. Now we can do power infusion on our incarnate. 
And uh, do I have enough for vampiric hunger for anybody? I could do it for him, but I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna wait. I'm going to give uncanny evasion to Fane. Hopefully he won't get hit then. Her boy over here. As close as he can get, it looks like. Not an FAP. Alright. Yifan, can you tactically retreat? Oh yeah, way over here. Great. This thing has... Oh, not an FAP. Okay, to strengthen everybody else. Fane, same deal. Tactical retreat. Right here on the side borders. Here's the problem, I can't strip enough magical armor to gag order him. So I'm just going to flail away. Or use adrenaline. I'm gonna use adrenaline. I'm going to use three hits here. Well, that almost did his magic armor. That almost got him. I can almost get him knocked down, but with six magic armor, I don't think chicken claw or anything else will work. Atrophy. That might be good. I was thinking about summoning my bone widow, but I think I'm just going to hit the atrophy and see what happens. Yeah, and then Fane gets to go again. Okay. Chicken claw this bad boy. Oh, I love it. I love it. Let's see. Um. Oh, geez, you're, you're doing pretty good there, bud. Let's cripple him so I can't run around. Losa. I'm just gonna skip Losa's turn. For now, red. How healed are you? Pretty good. I don't think I even need red involved here. We're gonna be able to kill this thing. Woodworking dead. The dwarf bounces up and down with glee, then catches himself and clears his throat. He bows before you. Extraordinary, son. Just extraordinary. The spirit of the one has yet to settle, but it hovers near. It knows your great feet. I feel the glow. Ain't just praise your earning, though. Giving you this key, too. It's an arena champ tradition. Takes you to treasure, it does. And only a champ can survive that journey. The dwarf bellows out to all within earshot. I proclaim thee the champion of the Driftwood Arena. Get your gloat on and take a swig of ale. Hell, take a dozen. We'll be singing for years to come of the great human void slayer. Alrighty. And what do we get? Oh, belts are so rare. But it's not like any of these are great. Let's see, these are all... That's level 10... These are all level 10 things. They expect you to win that at level 10? Wow. I don't think... I think all these are just fodder for, uh... Fodder for my wares. But we got a key to loot. Alright, so I believe the loot is over here. And what about the Void Woken? The Void Woken's down there, and Murga's not. And then what else is in here? Anything? I don't think so. What is this? Is this the door we have to go through? I might be wrong about which door it is. It might be over there. It's been a while since I've done this. Let's see. I thought it was over here. Hatch. Unlocked the Driftwood Arena. What's the journal update say? Driftwood Arena. The treasury of the one is heavily protected by traps. One of us is the champion of the arena of the Driftwood Arena. Right, so it's heavily protected by traps. No go. Not now, at least. Hmm. Can you just attack it? It can. Huh. 
it's petrified. Oh, what removes petrification again? Um, yeah, this does. Oh, but I can't, I can't actually use that on the door. That's interesting. I think blessing the door might actually, but it might just be faster. Break through this door. In the original Divinity Original Sin game, if you did such a thing, it really wore down your weapon. And this says durability right here, so I can um, I can repair that. There we go. 2020 now durability. All right, that's cool. This though, this gets a little strange. Um, I'm gonna use Fane here. These steam pipes are kind of a problem, I think. Potentially. Oh, petrification. Wow. Is there a way to turn off the steam pipes? Is there anything obvious around here? We're dealing with these. Any kind of switch or anything? Hmm. I don't see it. Alright. What I want to try to do is just teleport in there. Where would be a safe place to teleport? There aren't a lot, it doesn't look like. Hmm. Okay, hold on. You, come over here. Can you reach that? Oh, almost. <laughs> she can get the painting. But that's it. Can I get it through this door? Here, I'm gonna go right now. Oh, go faster! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> she starts walking real slow. Alright, let's move these out here. Fane, my man! What do you see? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, you come in here. I'm gonna get her to do both these. In the two seconds, Fane, I think I would like to just see him leap back here. Tactical retreat. And I just want him to grab the paintings and check all these gizmos. Uh oh, what the f what the flagnar? What happened? Oh my gosh! What the hell? Oh, now I gotta waste a stinking scroll on resurrecting him. Oh man, come on! That was that was colossally stupid. Oh my gosh, for reals? He just what was standing there in the wrong spot? Get back here, you worthless piece of garbage! Jeez, that sucked. I'm gonna have to spend some money and get some more scrolls. That was dumb. That was dumb. It's stuff like that that just aggravates me in this game, and I've read so many threads on the forums from other people being equally frustrated. It's like... The game's trying to punish you. I don't, I don't even know how I can get through there. Because he's going to go really slow. I just want this gold pile. Oh my gosh. Fane, just do it. Okay, get out of there. You get this thing. Let's get the heck out of here. Because this has already been a, an annoyance. Okay, my lady, get out of here. Slow, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's supposed to be slow. Got ya. I don't know what killed the Red Prince, but that really stunk. You can feel free to heal everybody over there. Alright, get drunk, fool. I guess I should save here in case these are trapped or something stupid that I can't remember. Key of the one and a big huge master. Right there, that's nice. Seems I can't use that right now. Right. 
unpetrified, please. Thank you. Oh, and a room frame of power, which is great. And an unidentified staff. Alright, let's get out of here. I've had enough of that nonsense. You killed one of my characters for no reason. I know this guy over here, Aaron, had a whole bunch of resurrection scrolls. Where is he at? Grisha. Where was Aaron at? Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm just gonna buy Impressive. a bunch of them. They'll see the spirit of the one stronger in you than anyone else I've seen. So Even there's minor. seven of them. Scrolls are great. Gotta have those. They're especially necessary toward the end. Now the question is, how do I get over this other thing? Because I think that key I just got goes to this door over there. But I don't know that. What's, what do these two buttons do? I've always been curious about this. That opened the door. Hey, far out. Some loot type things here. Ceremonial dagger. A bloodied bowl. A ceremonial dagger and a bloody bowl. Hmm, what do you think that's about? What's it do? It's just a dagger. And a bloody bowl. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. I have to look that up real quick. The Under Tavern. Oh, for goodness sake. It. All right. Huh. I'm not seeing anything that says there's anything interesting about this room other than crappy loot, so... Alright. Um, if that's the case, Red, come over here. That seemed unremarkable. I don't know what that's all about. It seems like there should have been more to that. Can I? Can I get over here into the arena somehow? What happens if I come over here? Nope. Huh. All right. trying to understand what that key is for. What key was it? It wasn't that one. Cranky. Oh, for goodness, there it was. I saw it. Ah, and then I auto-sorted, and now it's like that one. Key of the one. Where does it go? Where do I use the key of the one? Oh, that's really weird. In hmm. Weird. Okay, it goes somewhere else. <laughs> it says it's used in the Forgotten Isle. 
University, Final Battle, Act 2, there's a hidden room called Arena of the One. I've never experienced that. It's inside the Academy in the Teacher's Lounge. Okay, so it's not here. What about this room over here, though? What about this door? Is this just a bogus door? I guess so. Gosh. I thought I remember getting over there, though. Oh, well. I must not have. All right. Let's check the journal and see what we got going on here. Oh, yeah. Riker. Okay. We're level 13. Um, Blood Moon Island Archives. The Black Pits. That's where we need to go. All right. The Black Pits. The <laughs> Black Pits is so much fun. Oh my gosh. And I, the traitor. Okay. Let's get out of here then. And let's go to... Drifted Fields, Dunes, Closer, Black Pits, Gates, Travel. Alright. Here we are. We're going to start the Black Pits. So what I'm going to do is pause the game here and end this episode here. And we'll start on the next episode. We'll start doing the Black Pits. So folks, thanks for watching. Sorry for my confusion on this episode and lack of apparently knowing what the heck I'm doing um, as always if you like the content please subscribe to the channel and if you leave a question or comment I'll do my best to answer I'll see you next time on Let's Play thanks for watching